a clean environment, a healthy lifestyle, qualities we all desire for our families and the communities in which we live. For over 60 years, the Savannah Riverside Environmental Monitoring Program has routinely assessed the impact of site operations to the public and the environment. The SRS Environmental Monitoring Program is vital in determining health and safety issues for the purposes of environmental health. SRS publishes the annual environmental report to show SRS compliance with environmental laws and regulations and to highlight the extensive monitoring and surveillance programs that make this reporting possible. When discussing environmental impacts of SRS operations, words such as radiation and radioactivity are often used. Radiation is the transfer of energy in the form of rays, waves, and particles. It can occur naturally or it can be man-made. It can come from as far away as space or as close by as the ground that you're standing on. Because it is natural, we cannot eliminate it from our environment completely. Exposure can come from the air we breathe, from the food and water we consume, and through the soil, air, and water that comes in contact with our skin, and by external sources such as the sun or medical x-rays. The amount of radiation a person receives is called dose. It is typically measured by millirem, the term for the amount of energy from ionizing radiation that is deposited in human tissue combined with the resulting medical effects on the body. For example, a person receives about 10 millirem dose from a typical chest x-ray. To keep the dose to members of the public as low as possible, DOE has established 100 millirem as the annual dose limit from DOE operations to a member of the public. By comparison, SRS dose for a typical year is less than one millirem. To use a sports analogy, if the DOE 100 millirem limit were a standard football field, SRS would be at the six inch line. To determine the public dose, SRS measures the impact of SRS operations on the land, air, and water, both on and off site. Samples are collected on a 2,000 square mile area beyond the site's boundary. We examine the radiological contaminants that could be released to the environment as a result of SRS activities. The site's radioactive discharges to air and water are well below federal, state, and DOE regulations and standards, indicating minimal impact to the public and our environment from site operations. At the center of the monitoring program is the air and water closest to the site's operating and storage facilities. Air and water sample results identify the radiological contaminants that contribute to the public dose. Results are reviewed each year to ensure proper monitoring for radiological contaminants that may be emitted from SRS facilities. Moving outward to the middle ring, SRS collects many types of samples, including stream water and sediment, soil, vegetation, and air. Samples are collected in a circular pattern within the confines and at the border of SRS. This provides an understanding of what radiological materials may be reaching outside the SRS boundary that could result in a dose to the public. Much of SRS consists of vast forests and is home to varied wildlife populations. Controlled hunts open to the public are held to manage these populations and to reduce animal vehicle collisions. All animals harvested are monitored prior to release to the public. Monitoring determines if there is any impact of site operations on wildlife and also ensures that the hunter's dose does not exceed the SRS annual administrative game animal release limit of 22 millirem. In this outer circle, Monitoring occurs at the area closest to the surrounding communities and those pathways that may most impact its residents. Here, Savannah River water samples are collected weekly. Drinking water samples are provided to SRS monthly from water treatment plants that draw water from the river. Air samples are collected monthly from local communities. Annually, groundwater samples are collected from wells off-site, as well as sediment samples from the Savannah River. Fish and shellfish are also sampled annually. 
Through this comprehensive program, the SRS Environmental Monitoring Program routinely and accurately measures the impact of site operations and reports these to our stakeholders through the annual site environmental report. SRS strives for a clean environment with vibrant, safe communities. We belong to these communities and the SRS Environmental Monitoring Program pursues excellence because the health and safety of our environment is our first priority.